on the way. Meteorologist Marquina Brown with us now when the storm is moving in in your next weather forecast. Yeah, here it comes as we head toward later on tonight into tomorrow. So let's get right to timing it out for you as we take a look at what the story is going to be again overnight. It's about not just rain, but there's a possibility of moderate to heavy rainfall happening as we head toward the overnight into tomorrow morning. Very early your morning commute definitely on the wet side afternoon commute on the wet side as well. Then we head toward tomorrow afternoon where we'll start to see less of the rain um, and more of the drier air filtering in. But for the folks to the north of us, I'm talking Santa Barbara and northward, they are going to see the bulk of the rain. Thus the flood watch that is in effect as we go through early Saturday morning. I talked about the other side of the coin with this system, and that is the wind. We have wind advisories that are in effect here. As you can see from parts of the Antelope Valley, it includes uh, Barstow all the way down south of there then over to uh, just south of Lancaster. OK, so wind advisories are in effect because they are going to get pretty gusty for some of those Antelope Valley areas. How gusty? Take a look. You see the colors there uh, in Lancaster. You're looking at winds up and over 20, 25 miles an hour easily, along with the folks in Big Bear and northward. So right along the 395 there, we are talking about some pretty gusty winds happening all the way through tomorrow and then really picking up as we get into Saturday, it looks like as well. So we'll watch out for that. So bottom line is this in terms of rain for this system, it will be moderate. We are looking and maybe if you judge low, moderate, high, moderate rain is what we are going to see in terms of snow, not going to be an issue. None of that wind is going to be moderate for the mountains and deserts. Everybody else, we're looking at a very low chance of very aggressive winds. And then when we look at flooding, Again, low chance for most of us, but then a moderate opportunity for the mountain community. So as we go to your seven day forecast, we see not only the rain for tomorrow and into Saturday, but there's another chance as we head toward the beginning of next work week. So the dry day this weekend will be Sunday if you want to get out, run errands. That's your day. Even on Monday, beautiful. We're increasing the clouds ahead of the next system, but temperatures shoot up into the low 70s there. For the valleys, we're giving you a low 50s tomorrow. Rain, cool air. It's going to be chilly. As we get into Saturday, we're looking at 64 degrees with, again, not as much rain. Drying you out on Sunday, 70 and dry on Monday, but then we get back into more rain for Tuesday and Wednesday, i.e. same story. Again, more rain for you Friday and Saturday, drying out, and then we get back into the wet weather for Tuesday and Wednesday. Then we go to the beaches where we see temperatures in the 50s over the next couple of days. You're up to 65 as we get into Sunday, 66 and cloudy on Monday. Then we get into Tuesday's forecast and we include rain, low 60s, even cooler yet as we get into Wednesday. So that's a look at what we're doing. We are uh, still dodging the rain here as we head toward the next few days. Days, but luckily, the system that comes in tomorrow won't be as wet for us here in SoCal. Back to you.